probably already worked out is uh, an integral part of our bun. You cannot separate us, the Sikhs, from music. Whether we're celebrating, whether we are mourning something, whatever the occasion, we will sing. And all of us on, the, on this stage here, we're all, we're all working or we're studying. Isha Singh is studying here, Jeevan Singh playing the tabla is studying dentistry here at King's. Minda, Rav, we're all working, we're all kind of work and we try and fit the Gita in, we try and fit our practice, our Rehaz in. And what the Gurus did was when they constructed, when Guru Arjun Dev constructed or put together the Guru Granth Sahib, we're sitting at the side of the Ramandar uh, Sahib the, by the Sarovar. And what we had up to that point was a lot of Bani written by Guru Nanak Dev, Guru Pankar Dev, Guru Amar Das, Guru Ram Das, and by Guru Arjun Dev himself. What he did was he got by Guru Das, an eminent scholar, an eminent scholar, to scribe Guru Granth Sahib and what Guru Arjun Dev consciously did was organize the Shabbats into rags. Okay? It's difficult to describe what a rag is, but uh, the best way to do it is to think of a, a blank canvas, right? So we have this blank canvas, and what I'm going to try to do is describe to you what the painting on that canvas looks like. And maybe it is a, a, a painting like this shop here, right? Of a pretty sad scene. It's pretty sad. It's a very sad painting. Maybe there's a wife longing for her husband to return. We've got this black canvas, it's white, and now I'm trying to paint this in your mind of what this canvas looks like, what this painting looks like, right? And what we are trying to do is we're trying to paint that canvas with the music, with the words, and then by the end of it, if it's done properly, you will all have the same canvas in your mind, the same painting. My sergeant, my lord, my master has gone very far away. This the desiri. This means the country you're in. Vides means a different country, even further out. And I'm sending him messages, I'm writing letters to him. Sar Samalet and Sajina, I cannot live without that Sajan, that friend, that master, the love of my life, maybe. Mond Nan Parendi and my eyes have swelled up in tears. That's how sad I feel. You know? So we have here the words of the Shabbat, right? And what Guru Arjun Dev did, because clearly he was a musician, an eminent musician, a very talented musician. You know, we think of the Gurus as, quite rightly, as great poets, as Great warriors, spiritual masters, this is how we see the news, right? What I want you to do is walk away and I want you to think of the Guru in another light that the Gurus were also eminent musicians. Come on, Guru Nanak Dev travelled for thousands of miles, right? And he had with him a friend who played this instrument here, the Rabab. Not once, not twice, but many times a day, the Guru stopped. He said to his friend, Mardanya Rabab Sher, play the Rabab. Mardanya was an eminent, 
position himself, he played the Rabaab and Guru Nanak Dev would sing to that Rabaab. He was a musician. And look at Guru Arjun Dev now, look at the words, they're up there. Sajjana Desva Desire Sahne Hare Dindi. We're just going to play one tiny piece more, then we go to the last line on the finish. And what we're going to do is try to reproduce that feeling of that lady who is Lord Malak has gone away. Sanehere Dindi, I'm writing letters to him. Sar smale tena sajana, I cannot live without him. Mongalayana parendi. And my eyes are swelling up in tears. You can apply that to many parts of our history. For example, when Guru Bhargobind was imprisoned, and the Sikhs were turning up at the prison every day. Swathes of the Sikhs, there were groups of them, hundreds of them turning up. Because their guru was imprisoned inside and they hadn't seen him for many, many weeks, right? Imagine that scene there, painted on canvas. And what our guru, Guru Arjun Dev, has done has taken those words and is applied to a rag. And just look at the rag he applied it to. blessed me by sitting with me and, and playing these beautiful instruments. 
I think it's the, we do the Ramkali now. Is there anyone else after us? Yeah. Ramkali, yes. Yeah. So we're going to do the Ramkali. I'll tell you a bit about Ramkali. I've told you about, a bit about Dukhari. Ramkali is, I'm afraid I've picked some sad rocks today. There's no reason. I'm not unhappy. There's no, I haven't fallen out with my wife or <laughs> anything yet. It's just the way it's worked out. I can't help the fact that Ramkali is written in Ramkali. It's, it's quite a sad rag. So I can't help that one. My guru, my teacher, my ustad, teaches me that Ramkali is what he refers to as a Joginada raga. Okay. In fact, there is a rag called Ramkali Jogiya, right? But let me explain what that means. So the yogis, the jogis, the sadhus were spiritual beings and at some point in their life they decided they were going to leave home and they were going to go out and uh, preach and devote their life to God's word. And that's the decision they made, whether we agree with it or not is a different matter. Guru Nanak taught us that Sikha, you, you have to live the house of a, the life of a householder, and he he lived the li life of a householder. But he didn't say that these guys were wrong. They that's the decision they made. They wanted to leave home and they wanted to go out into the forests and jungles and just live in kind of uh, peace, harmony with the world. And I just want you to envision or visualize the scene when. The son comes home and says to his parents and his family that I want to become a sadhu, i.e. I want to leave home. Yeah, I want to go and I'm going to spend the rest of my life traveling with these yogis, with these sadhus. And on the one hand, we are very happy for him because he's chosen a wonderful kind of existence devoting his life to God, but on the other hand, the family is extremely sad because he's going. And it's that scene of separation. Earlier on, we had a scene where we, the Sikhs, have been separated from our Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib, as an example. And we are turning up every day at the fort where he is imprisoned and we're hoping that somewhere up there in one of those little windows we might catch a glimpse of the Guru because the darshan have become so expensive. We take it for granted now, you know, we just walk to the Gordora, we take it for granted, but there was this time where the darshan was very expensive, both menges and darshan, in other words, day after day after day, I don't know how many months this went on, we turned up, we never saw the Guru. But there was this hope that if we come back tomorrow, we might just see him. And he might just be in one of those windows at the top of the uh, fort. That's a different scene here. We have a sadhu leaving home. <coughs> that is what Ramkali is. A rag of separation. And I'm going to do a very short halap. And then we'll do the Ramkali and we'll finish with that. Okay? So...
ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਆਨੰਦ ਕੋਂਕਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਆਨੰਦ ਪਿਆ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਏ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਇਆ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਦਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਸਹਿਜ ਸਤੀ ਨਾ ਬਣਿਆ ਵਾਲਾ ਯਾਰ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਕਰਿਆ ਸਾਤ ਕਾ ਬਣਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਕੋ ਰਹੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਮੰਜਨੀ ਵਸਾਇਆ ਕਹੇ ਨਾਨ ਗਿਆਨ ਤੋਂ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਇਆ ਏ ਮਨ ਮੇਰਾ ਤੂੰ ਸਦਾਰੋਂ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰੂ ਮਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੂੰ ਸਭ ਸਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਕਰ ਕਰੇ ਤੇਰਾ ਕਾਰ ਸਭ ਸਵਾਰ ਨਾ ਸਭ ਨਾ ਕਰਾ ਸਵਾਰ ਸਵਾਮੀ ਸੋਗ ਮਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਹੇ ਨਾਨ ਮਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਸਦਾਰੋਂ ਸਾਰ 